I fall down and the game gives me a present? This can't be bad at all. A balloon? What am I going to do with the balloon? This is the prize I get for almost dying? Get this out of here. Guess it's illegal to congratulate a man's success. It came back? Oh, I have to hit the button. I'm pressing it with my middle finger because that's what I think about this poopy prize. So are you in the mood to continue tonight, too, Don, or do you want me or Barack to throw on the headset? Can't hear you, Joe. About to lock in for night two, and I need to cut out all the white noise that... Is this candy? Donald, you might be the oldest baby I have ever seen. You can eat the candy. You're darn frissle frassin'. And it's all mine, so don't ask for any. All right, let's start this night. The world's best security guard isn't playing around. You know, someone said in the comments that we have so much more of the game to play that we might be playing this for the next year. That should be a hint to stop messing around. See how many fingers I'm holding up? That's how many seconds I cared to pay attention to you. I just tried answering the phone. Are you going to just sit there like a statue? There you go, Donald. You do know how to operate a phone. See these fingers, Obama? They're going somewhere very unpleasant if you don't keep your mouth shut. Either that or the furry cast of friends will shut it for you. Look at that curtain. Look at that slit of air right there that the peeping foxy is trying to slip his eyes through. Well, not on my watch. Either way, I'm interested if you'll have any difficulties moving forward despite your roster of skills now. And you already have Bonnie off the stage. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Not like I'm looking right at it. Yeah, but you are you, so your head could have been who knows where. There he is. He's walking. Donald, I really hate to tell you this, but only Freddie was on that stage. Something tells me that was Chica walking through the dining area. Bonnie is still missing. You really just love telling me what I already know. You're like a broken record player if a broken record player loved to talk about Look, there he is, menacingly plotting the world's best security guard's downfall. I'm noticing that you get oddly animated while playing these, but I'm not complaining. It's good entertainment. For us or the audience? Both. Look at this stupid bird. Again? She thinks she can enter the presence of the world's best security guard without any clearance checks? Well, that is what they try to do, Donald. I feel like you would have been accustomed to that by now, but nothing fails to surprise me anymore. Stay. Stay! Stupid bird thinks it has free will and can make its own decisions. I think you got some movement going on there, Donald. I'm very aware. You see, this bumbling bunny causes me nothing but a night of strife. Always creative with the vocabulary there, eh, hey, Don? You would think that taking the time to come up with the stupid things he says would cause an even bigger inconvenience than he already has. Some people are just blessed at birth, some aren't. It's okay, Obama, you'll realize that one day when you were meant to be the shadow of the world's best. What does that even mean? I stopped trying to understand it months ago. Life gets better when you can ignore the stupid. Look at Foxy. Wait, there's walking. Glad you noticed it. Look, this stupid bird wasn't on my cameras, and now here she is trying to tickle my pickle. Well, I'm not having any of it. Are you trying to dap her up? Hello, you stupid bird. Wait, the other door. That was the quickest flick of the wrist that I've ever seen. Donald must have heavy experience. Heavy experience with stupid stuffed animals. Well, these stupid stuffed animals have a thing for orange pie because they're not stopping anytime soon and it's only 3 a.m. Yeah, you should actually watch your power consumption from here on out, Donald. Yeah, the clock just ticked over. But the fact that the cameras don't use battery and we're still this diminished on night two, yeah, it's not looking good. Why did you just get acoustic at Foxy? Ah! I'm okay. And here I was getting all excited. Donald, that is the second time that you've fallen down and we're not even a fraction of the way done with the game. You hiding something from us? Maybe he's just doing his best FDR impression. Laugh while you still can, but let me just say that nothing is going to get in the way of Donald Trump and that sweet victory. Donald, you might want to close that. It's not working. Ah! See, it was funny the first couple of times, but now it's just annoying because we have to untangle all the cords. You sure you're not falling on purpose? I've never seen someone's back look like a cat's tail. Way to self-identify that you don't have proper hygiene, Joe. See, even Freddy thinks it's funny, and his teeth haven't seen a toothbrush in decades. Friendly reminder that both of you guys were adults when he did see a toothbrush. Uh, Who are you? Want to explain this one, Joe? In due time. Hey, you little freaky rabbit. Why are you a hologram? And then we just... Is that you? 
trying to whisper to horses or something? What are those? Donald, you're 77 and you just quoted a vine. What do you actually do in your free time? I used to have fun, but now I guess it's the Joseph Biden classic. Play horror games. You know, watching Donald throw his whole hand around reminds me of the good old days of just sitting and... The opposition is out today like spring weather. Shooting the crap, eh, Joe? I always try to do that. These past couple of games have done a really good job at immersion, considering it kind of just felt like yesterday when we started Poppy Playtime. Now it's all said and done. Can I throw my shoe at these things? Especially this one? This one does that pretty well too, but since we're actually moving our body, it might take a lot more focus than it usually does. I don't know, considering I'm not playing. Not only is it more strenuous, it does change the game dynamic a little bit. Are you stupid, Bonnie? I can do that too. You aren't cool, you just smell like a corpse. Okay, maybe you are a little bit cool. You don't have to even look at the cameras for the most part, considering you have your doors to the left and right, and you can just hover over them. But it also adds stress to be precise with your movements. Certainly doesn't alleviate stress, the way Donald makes enemies with literal inhabitants of the afterlife. Because let me tell you one thing that the world's best security guard is allergic to, fear. Donald, there's a literal implant of you falling on the carpet. I guess nowadays you, you just call that a fun night with the boys or something. Leave it to Obama to leave that one up for interpretation. Aren't you the one implying things? And look what the chef glazed in honey rotisserie. Donald, you don't always have to point at the thing. It's very hard to miss the giant robot animal in the way. But look, look at her stupid beak. Okay, she's gone now. And, and I think you got the other one rapidly approaching your location. And would you look at that, I was correct. For night two, they really want to be on my Hami Johns right now and ruin the fun family night that we're having here. They're on your hoo-ha? Now let's get a bit tricky and finicky with these cameras. I'm sick and tired of dying over and over again. And certainly beating at the panel like a bongo drum would certainly help the situation. Foxy's camera changed. Great catch, he'll probably be on his way any minute now. Donald died to Foxy one of the times. Do we still have the same sound design where he bangs on the door? Just give it a second, you'll find out. The answer is yes. Is he trying to pry the door open? What is going on? They just extended the sound cue. No real need to worry. I wouldn't put you into anything obscenely different without letting you know. I think that's a bit of a lie, but you didn't hear that from me. You know, you're really cutting it down to the wire here, Donald. You're almost straight down to the last droplet of battery. Would you relax, Joe? The world's best security guard knows exactly what he's doing. And if he doesn't, then I guess he's dead. They hate me because they ain't me. And let me guess, the peanut gallery is going to come in with a world of yucks. No, it's just going to be Chica. Why now? It's 5 a.m. and 0%. No oh, way. Wow. Whose loud pack are we smoking tonight? Because it ain't going to be the world's best security guard, that's for sure. Don't give us that throw around, Donald. You just got lucky. If anything, I should take the headset from you and put it on myself. We might actually make progress. Go ahead, then. We haven't seen you in a headset, and I've already played enough of this game. Obama in a headset would be the funniest thing ever. Just don't have him controlling any military aircraft. It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.